then four behind the gloves now with Hopi Price, who has got a fight date. Ah, how are you feeling? Good, you know, I'm um, happy to get a fight date, 10th of December, back home in Leeds, so um, it's good to fight in my hometown again. Last time we spoke, it was at in Leeds, Josh Warrington card. You weren't able to fight and you were feeling sad about it. So how does it feel now knowing that you're going to be in that arena? Unbelievable, you know, the, I've done a little post over there on Instagram of when I was there. You know, the atmosphere was booming and uh, I boxed in Headley Stadium, so I've boxed in Leeds before. But um, there's just something about that arena, you know, it feels like all the fans are on top of the ring and, yeah, I was gutted, I was injured, um, a bit down at the time and um, looking at everyone fighting, I was, I was a little bit jealous, you know, but um, I knew the time would come for me to fight there and uh, it'd be good to fight on the undercard of Josh Warrington again. Um, put on a good display again and then uh, hopefully after that I'll be headlining that show one day. Sorry, Coogan's coming in. Is it is it not very good framing? Uh, also, Hopi, uh, you're here obviously supporting Jordan Gill, your stable mate. Yeah. Big fight on his hands. How are you feeling about that? You know, he's he's been looking tremendous in the gym. Um, I think everyone will see tomorrow he's in, a, he's in the best shape of his life, you know. Um, he's trained super, super hard for this and... Uh, I think everything's gone right this time. I think not many people knew that last time in the Gurf, when he was fighting Gurf for the European title, he had so much go wrong. You know, he had knee injuries, perforated air jumps in sparring. He had a bad hand. So um, this time he's firing all cylinders. You know, and um, it's going to take a career best performance to beat Kiko. But um, I believe um, he's, he, Jordan's capable of becoming a world champion. So um, he's got to get Kiko out of the way, and then he'll get that shot. Do you feel more nervous having a stable mate? fighting than you yeah if any if anyone anyone what knows me knows that when it comes to me fighting i'm cool as a cucumber you know i'm not really bothered but anything to do with my stable mates or my little brothers do boxing as well T to watch one of them or to watch my stable mate I, like i'm on edge the when jordan boxed square for last time as you know it was up and down and we was all shaking at the all side of the ring here. everyone was so when he finally pulled that shot off at the end I think I nearly fell over the barrier when I jumped that high, so... <laughs> so we're going to see you holding on to the seat for dear life, are we, Sam? Yeah, yeah, probably so. Probably sitting on my hands or something. <laughs> Who else are you excited to see? We've obviously got Johnny Fisher fighting, yeah. we've got Ellie Scottney. Who are you excited to see? You know, um, there's a lot of good fighters on this card. Um, I think, like you said, the headline as well, Katie Taylor, she's a tremendous fighter and what she's done for the sport. And uh, I've boxed on quite a lot of undercards of Katie Taylor as well. I think, I think it's one of the... I think she's the fight that I've probably been on the most of the same shows so it's good to see her back in action you know and uh, hopefully she'll get that fight back in Ireland one day for herself because it'd be good for her to return home wouldn't it? Yeah it really would that would be a fantastic show for everyone in Ireland as well. Well Hopi thank you very much for your time we'll keep it short and sweet but best of luck in your preparations and best of luck for December. Thank you very much. Hey Fight fans it's Michelle Joy Phelps make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.